Starting with Clojure is a terrible idea. Uh, it has weird syntax. Only startups are using this language. There is no entry level jobs for you. And it would be really weird if you don't know the environment that Clojure compiles to. Hi, my name is Ewa Trzemżalska, and today I will be talking about my journey of becoming a Clojure developer. As I mentioned before, uh, before IT, uh, I was studying midwifery, uh, then I graduated from massage school. Uh, I was renting out some Airbnbs, but I couldn't find myself and I wasn't happy. I'm also a terribly chaotic person. Uh, and when I started mentioning to my close ones that I'm thinking about being a developer, they were terrified and they said that it's the last place where I should be. And to prove how chaotic am I, I just got, it's going to be a shocking picture from my room when I used to be te a teenager. And let's skip to another slide. Uh, I had decided to be a developer. Uh, I started learning the basics from online courses. Um, and I've attended the Geek Girls Carrot Workshop. Uh, it was a workshop for underrepresented groups, and we learned there how to make interactive photo gallery. Uh, I was attending uh, more local meetups later, uh, circulating mostly around the JavaScript ecosystem, and JavaScript was just the most popular in my area. Uh, I was in the meantime, I was learning from the from the online courses. I was attending the meetups, and after one of them. I just get a job. It was it wasn't hard, uh, and I was surprised like how smoothly it went. Uh, but that was the only smooth part because uh, it was my first job, uh, mostly with HTML, CSS, and Angular JS. I had no idea what I'm doing, but I was implementing designs in Angular JS web app, and I've learned a lot really a lot and the most important thing that i learned it was that i'm not a visual person and i definitely don't like center align things uh, so i made a, a decision that maybe i'm gonna look for something else uh because javascript wasn't very appealing for me uh and because some of my friends were al already using closure i've started asking around uh about the, about closure and that was the, the thing that I mentioned in my first slide was exactly what they, they told me, that uh, there is no jobs for juniors, uh, that it has so different syntax, and there's definitely not much resources for, uh, for beginners, and that um, no understanding of uh, JVM or JavaScript, it, it has no sense to even think about it without, without the understanding. So I decided to completely ignore it and continue to pursue my closure journey. Uh, I've installed Visual, Visual Studio Code uh, and uh, Calva. I have did uh, closure cons. Uh, and then I, I started doing some personal projects. I've made a word counter, uh, then application for, for checking weathers uh, for the CLI, and then uh, air quality application, especially useful in Krakow uh, during winters. Uh, and I've been ready for, for another challenges. Uh, so I spent my last money <laughs> flying to London, London for Closure Bridge. Uh, I was super, super excited about the community, how, how, how welcomed I feel there. And it was a really awesome experience to fly that to another country just, just for that. Uh, and at the workshop, I built my first web app with Closure Script. Uh, and I believe that maybe someday I will be able to touch front end again. Uh, after great experience with uh, London Closurians, I joined the local uh, community in Krakow, uh, and it was really welcoming. Uh, it was way more personal experience because the the uh, community there it was really small, uh, but I've got a lot of support, and they even encouraged encouraged me uh, to go my outside my comfort zone. And I've got uh, no encouraged by Norbert Witovic. Um, I've done my first talk ever about being a noob. And I was extremely surprised that everyone cares uh, and they have got a lot of support and good advices. And after that, uh, I was really pumped up and motivated. Uh, I've got a lot of fun le of learning uh, and I really believe that maybe I can make it work. So I started looking for closure jobs because uh, I wanted to know what is the minimum hireable uh, level 
uh, and what I need to need to need to grasp. And there was a surprise. No, it wasn't a surprise. I've heard it before, but I just don't want to believe it. Uh, because searching for juniors returns only seniors position. And I've got no idea what I need to know because that jobs for juniors just don't exist. Uh, so I started wondering that maybe it really is a terrible idea. After the excitement phase, uh, I've started wondering that maybe it's a waste of time and I don't know what I need to learn, how long it's going to take and even where can I send my resume. So uh, I wanted to try something more, more popular than closure uh, because I just got scared and I decided that maybe Python is, is going to be a better choice. Uh, I found a full stack web developer uh, course on Udacity uh, because full stack is the job when you can get all jobs like front end, back end, Python, it's a million offers and it's going to work definitely, right? Uh, and Udacity seems legit and uh, I were not able to find nothing as professional and promising in Clojure. So I decided that Python. It took me, it took a few months and in around halfway through, uh, I got a notification about the job or job offer in closure without the senior in the title. So I was in the middle of, of uh, Python course. Uh, and it turns out I just had to wait a little bit longer with closure. I've got super excited. Uh, I've got my, uh, I've got a, a, a take home exercise. I nailed it. Uh, I've got an invitation for, uh, for an actual interview. Of course, I didn't get the job because I lacked a ton of skills. Uh, but at least I knew that there's something out there that the jobs of, with closure exists. Uh, and I was not enjoying the Python course that much. And I regained my belief that there is something to fight for. Uh, and I really liked closure after after that, uh, that uh, home exercise. And maybe it's a good time to uh, mention what I liked about closure so far. Um, that was just one way of doing things. There was just functions, no objects, classes, and other stuff that I was learning in Python course. Uh, I felt way more productive and efficient than in Python because uh, a lot of built-in functions just ready to use. Uh, and uh, the language was not in the way of solving business problems. And uh, the last part is that immutability actually saves my chaotic ass. So I started actively looking for closure offers. Uh, and I decided that I'm not giving up this time. Uh, I pinned up my resume, uh, GitHub repos, uh, LinkedIn profile, and started sending applications everywhere, no matter if I've met the requirements fully or not. And it worked. Uh, it took some time. I almost gave, gave up around 10 times. Uh, but I fi finally got it. It was my first closure related job. And that was first reality check. Uh, because it was an app uh, for ordering water bottles, water bottles uh, using Expo closure script uh, app for Android. And it was a, a lot of extra layers of complexity that I wasn't expecting that expected at all. Because I wanted to write closure, right? Not React and not closure script and closure script is even more difficult because of already complex javascript ecosystem uh, and yeah i was i was terrified it was extremely overwhelming because i'm a still junior this is my first real job and things got really complex really quickly uh, and this made me worried because uh, maybe people were right and i should know all these underlying things to call myself a closure developer and it was also hard because uh, I was working mostly solo. Uh, it, the uh, team of, of uh, our, our our application was two. One of one was me, and the other one was the CEO slash senior developer who was pro usually pretty busy with the other stuff uh, with handling the application and uh, and the startup. Uh, but I learned a lot, and it was amazing opportunity, and uh, I'm super super grateful for that. Uh, I learned how to deal with GitHub workflows uh, and working working completely remo remotely. I've learned what spaghetti code is because I've started writing one. Uh, and then I learned how important it is to avoid it. 
Uh, and I learned that uh, the job is as much as uh, people as it about technology was, which was, I wasn't really expecting before. Uh, and I, uh, I, at the end, I was even able to to taught uh, to teach the others uh, non engineers uh, people about uh, how to uh, commit translations to to GitHub repo. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, I found out that Peter Stromberg, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, is looking for people uh, who started the journey with uh, closure recently, and he asked me a ton of questions. I answered all of them, and then he encouraged me to gather it together and to build a post out of that. I was absolutely surprised that someone cares about it, uh, and actually, uh, I decided that okay, I'm gonna do that. And the post was awesome, and a uh, few companies even contacted me with a job offer, and I've got some interviews. Uh, right now, Post has uh, 1,500 uh, views, which is way, way more than I ever expected. And uh, this talk is actually a follow-up to, to, this, to this little story. And I'm super thankful for this talk and the fact that I can share my story with so many people. Uh, and I think that uh, pushing, uh, pushing me outside uh, my comfort zone is uh, super great. And I think this is the best we can do for newcomers to the field. But in the background, I was still looking for a new job and I was ready for a step up. And uh, I decided that if I got one job, I can get another better one. Uh, and I did. It was my first job in a proper team. Uh, I've got a job uh, in a life kit, uh, which is uh, application leading on the market uh, for kindergartens and nurseries. I am hired as a junior backend developer. I am writing closure at daily basics, uh, and we are building uh, APIs in a live app with uh, real customers, a lot of them, uh, etc. Uh, so it was a huge leap in the terms of complexity of the app. Uh, actually, the closure was not the biggest issue here, uh, even though I didn't know a lot. But uh, switching from the app with four namespaces that I wrote from scratch myself to 400 plus namespaces and eight actively changing it developers was actually completely different scale. And it was it was a huge, huge, uh, huge difference. The biggest challenges I've got uh, I've got in my uh, in my job, it was that there is even more technology and tools to master. Uh, I also felt that sometimes I annoyed seniors because I was the first junior there and they were not used to being interrupted by questions. Uh, and so I need to learn uh, how to ask good questions at the right time. Uh, I've, uh, I've also been struggling with work-life balance uh, because I actually like my job and I'm terrible at estimating. So I was often finishing, I wanted to finish something at the evening uh, because you know I was hoping that I'm gonna finish this day. It doesn't work. You need to find work-life balance. Uh, that was also the very first time when I had to fix bugs because usually I was writing code for myself and for for maybe two other people's, uh, and I need to uh, learn how to read existing already existing code. But uh, for me, uh, with naming conventions, it's actually pretty fun. And last but definitely not least, the giant stack, giant stack traces in closure. Uh, because not knowing Java maybe is a limiting a bit. Uh, because how can you learn to read stack traces? Is it a tutorial or something? Uh, <laughs> you just need to get this gut feeling. Uh, you need to get too used to it and just hoping for the best way, googling what what it means. But after six months as a junior on the job, I finally start to feel stronger. I'm asking a lot of good questions that sometimes even maybe seniors are afraid to ask, but I can ask them. I'm a junior, so I can ask every question right now. Uh, I'm helping uncover the bus factor and explaining thing to a junior is a true uh, test of understanding. Uh, I'm improving documentation because when I when I uh, get an answer, I'm trying to write it down for the newcomers maybe. Uh, I'm already shipping actual features to actual users. And in the meantime, I, I'm even able to help uh, other teammates learn closure because one of our of our friend 
uh, start learning also closure despite his uh, front end developer. So this is why you should have a junior on your team. It's really great idea. And to sum it all up, uh, my message today is junior is an investment, not a cost, and it's an asset, not a, not a burden. And we definitely need more entry level closure jobs uh, because I feel much, much more powerful, uh, much more quickly in closure than any other languages I tried before, uh, despite the fact that I'm very new to the field. And I think that we need clearer guidance and quality content for people starting out. Uh, and we need more companies uh, brave like LifeKit or NewBank that they, they are brave enough to, to hire juniors and other underrepresented groups. Uh, and uh, we need more closure bridges and other meetups, no matter how small or how local and tiny. Uh, I think that we should start promoting closure as a first language because it's a great idea. And uh, I just want you all to be proud of the community you are a part of because you've helped me a lot. Uh, and I've got a special thanks uh, for Bruno Bonacci for the invitation to this talk and to Peter Stromberg uh, for encouraging me to go out of my comfort zone and to for Calva, of course, uh, to Norbert Witovich for my very for encouraging me to give my very first talk about new perspective and to Oscar Zabik for supporting me during my entire entire journey and helping me with this talk. And of course, to these last folks that didn't fall asleep yet, you are the best. And thank you all. And that's it. <laughs>